directed by Greg Berlanti, written by Isaac Aptaker and Elizabeth Berger, or Berger, and based on the novel Push by Saf, no, wait, based on the novel Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Simon Spear, played by Nick Robinson, is a closeted 17-year-old whose high school experience is made better through friends, family, and a stranger that he reaches out through the internet, and they end up falling in love and in the process loving themselves. I should also preface this review by saying that there are going to be spoilers. Consider this your official warning. Other than that, I don't wish to spoil anything else about your movie viewing experience. If you connected with this movie, good on you. I'll also strictly be pertaining to the feature film Love, Simon, and not the book, which I haven't read. Everything that I'll be expressing in this video is based on my personal taste, and if that offends you in any way, well, that's on you, bro. Moving on. Apart from him being gay and his hypercritical view on killer video transitions, honestly, Simon, this is one sick slideshow, so you can suck it. There's not much else to unpack there. He's 17, he has perfect hair that defies all physics, wind trajectory, and gravity. He has parents like these. Oh. Hey! Sorry, I didn't realize you were masturbating. Yeah, very funny. He has a healthy and appropriate amount of admiration towards black women. Not because she's black. I love black women. He's also friends with that brunette from 13 Reasons Why, but that's beside the point. Brendan Yuri is a god, and I suppose on that front, Simon and I are very much alike. Brendan, I love you. I got a really hot date on Tinder tonight. She is cute. Okay, hetero. In the course of Simon emailing his mystery twink, we meet three potential dudes in the movie that could or could not be the blue to Simon's blue balls. There's Bram, aka Hottie McCotterson, some dude that fits the profile of a Dexter, and the blonde from 13 Reasons Why. I also follow him on Instagram, and he's beautiful, but anyway. And then there's this piece of shit who becomes the catalyst of Simon's anxiety, and with good reason. You're gonna leak my emails? You're gonna... Okay. Post among Greek secrets? Uh, I, I just think that we're in a position here where we can help each other out as well. This guy's a dick, and to be honest, I'm not even sure if he's all there or if he's purely running on ignorance or both. Hey, Martin, look, 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 I don't want to answer. If you said my shoulders, I would dress to accentuate. He's antagonistic, but still supposedly lovable because he's nothing more than the result of many a heartbreak that surely we can all empathize with? I, no. Martin's cancelled. So are several people out there who has ever put their closeted queer peers in a position where they were pressured to come out. Like, fuck you. Watching Love Simon. It felt as though I was witnessing the first draft of every cliché character in a rom-com. You've got the cute and quirky lead. I like your, your boots! Goodbye! The comic relief, the best friend, and for the most part, everything just felt so forced. Like the opening scene, for instance, where Simon's inner narration just flat out tells you that he's relatable. So, like I said, I'm just like you. He's not whatever opinion you might have of him, he's just like you. Relate to him. He's so lovable and relatable. Okay. <laughs> Relate goals. So Simon and his friends are part of a play that, as you've already guessed, will be circling back to by the end of the movie because it foreshadows the climax where everything that goes to shit becomes less shitty. Because I don't know, prom is played out in every high school rom-com. Who are you guys supposed to be? John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Halloween rolls around and laid-back Barack I am post-presidency Barack Obama decides to get that Oreo money coming in. I'm kidding. Man, I love this. Halloween ones are the best. Yeah. Also, what are Halloween Oreos? I live in the Philippines. The only specialty Oreos we get here is adobo and lumpia. Everyone knows that. Side note from the party, what was this about? Hey. Yeah, you look, you look awesome. She looked so uncomfortable and gay for a second, I thought, do you want her lasso, Leia, Link? Do you want her to Yoko your Ono like there's no tomorrow? God damn it. The garbage truck's outside. I guess my Uber's here. It's fine. Anyway, Simon, <laughs> after having shredded the karaoke machine a new one, walks in on Bram, necking some chick in a... I don't know, Misty costume? A sexy McDonald's? I don't know. So in terms of the process of elimination, that's what scientists would call a NEXT. <laughs> then there's this psycho who honestly, tell me this doesn't look like he was legitimately flirting with Simon while looking like he's chaperoning a date. Uh, I'm glad you're here. You are? Yeah, uh, I wanted to ask you something. What's Abby's deal? 
Uh, next. Then this cutie. I'm going to an unheated vacation house in the middle of nowhere. Oh, shit. He's a theater nerd with little to no personality. The only noteworthy thing about him is that he kills the Spirit Finger game. And that's completely Simon's loss. In that same vein, I think the lack of character depth is mostly what I take issue with. Even Simon is pretty bland. As for Blue, there's Halloween Oreos and gayness. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, you guys. But that isn't enough. At the heart of it all, Love, Simon is a rom-com. It relies on the budding romance of two teens that find online solace in each other in an environment where being gay is the bread and butter of the only two bullies that exist in the Love, Simon universe. Love stories like these are fueled by chemistry. Chemistry that, for me, was difficult to get a feel of when Simon was usually just smiling at his laptop, adding on to a joke about Halloween Oreos that Honestly, how funny is that? And how many times can you build up that one joke in the course of like, what, weeks? I d uh, I'm fine. This one's for you, Spear. Oh, you like that, don't you, Spear? They have no friends. Hey, assholes. Isn't that like some cosmic sign that bullying openly gay people that have stable friend groups and are flourishing is outdated. None of their tactics are that effective. Oh, you're gay? You're a guy and you like other guys and being in a healthy relationship with other guys? Ha ha. Ew. Actually, between the three gay characters in this movie that we know of, they're probably the gayest, I'm just gonna call it. Speaking of insufferable toe cheeses, why isn't Martin crucified further for his actions? Have you seen it? Seen what? Simon Spear has a secret male pen pal. This bitch not only outed Simon, but by proxy, dragged another person into a shit that he didn't even consider, all because he didn't end up with his high school love. Martin, I am so sorry. Now, I'm not saying that Martin needs to be the subject of many memes and petty bad luck for the rest of his high school life, or until he decides to switch schools, but that's kind of what I'm saying. Tea. Go away, Martin. Your mom's breasts aren't gonna breastfeed themselves. You know? Do you get that? Because, like, this dude looks like he still breastfeeds. Anyway, um... Uh, he screenshotted my emails, and he's been using them to blackmail me for months. Told me that if I didn't help him get with Abby, he'd out me. So you made up a bunch of lies. Also, rip Leia. I know I messed up, okay? But I, I knew you were in love with Nick. Simon, I was never in love with Nick. I was in love with you. Is it the hair? I mean, I, I I get it. I need you to hear this. You are still you, Simon. Any footage or story of parents accepting their gay children wholeheartedly is my Achilles heel. It's my compilation of soldiers coming home to their dogs videos. Every time I need a good cry, find me in that section of YouTube. Or don't find me at all. This is about to get romantic as F, so anyone adverse to gratuitous feelings, kindly click over to the BuzzFeed quiz or resume the porn you pause to read this. Not everyone is on BuzzFeed and porn. Fucking chill, Simon. So the play happens, and by this time you're thinking, oh right, nearly forgot about this, cause same. So Blue, after the play, Friday at 10, you know where I'll be. I'm just saying, you couldn't have met up with him in private? Why did it have to be at an event in school? No pressure for you to show up, but I hope you do. Uh, all pressure, all offense. Are you disappointed that it's me? No. Love, Simon is cute and all, but it doesn't really pack a punch. Watching this movie, I felt like Gordon Ramsay every time he'd go off on some sad bastard about how poorly seasoned their dish is. Because that's what Love, Simon is for me. It's a pop song sung with the same four chords, barely scratching the surface. The diabetic safe dessert option at the end of a four-course meal. I'm making a lot of food references, and you might be thinking I should go eat, and to that I say I could really go for a McSpicy right now. It's kind of like pizza, you know, like even when when it's bad pizza, it's still pizza. Oh my god, do I want a pizza instead of a McSpicy? So yeah, Love, Simon is bad pizza. I wouldn't buy from that same place again, but if it's there, I'll eat it. Because it's goddamn pizza. Maybe it's a question of timing. Had this been released sooner or before many of the other coming-of-age movies that dominated the romance genre, it might have made a difference. Also, Keenan Lonsdale? He plays blue brown balls in the, in the movie. He's a national treasure. Confirmed. Here and now, Protect him. Protect him. At all costs. 
In my very, 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 very professional opinion, this could have been a lot gayer. If you have a little bit of time for some gayness in your life, I would like to present to you my fanfic version <laughs> of Love, Simon. Simon is sort of out, but just to his family and friends, kind of like Lucas from To All the Boys, and Blue slides into his DMs all secret admirer-like. Yeah. I'm telling you, the Oakwood... They make it a cute game of Simon trying to guess who he is, and mid-movie Simon finds out all ha ha bro, caught you, let's date. How about you and me? Yeah. We get some cute Simon Bram moments because who doesn't love a cute moment? Don't you remember? And this gives us time to get to know Bram as Bram, like not as Blue. Martin and his greasy locks come in, thirsty for Abby, and he blackmails Bram and Simon into outing them both and boom, you've got your conflict right there. Simon tries to hold everything together while trying to make sure Blue Bram is unaware of the fact that Martin is snaking his way into Abby's Wonder Woman shorts while holding their right to come out hostage. Martin gets heartbroken because he deserves it. Bram dips. Simon does damage control. Simon and Bram make up in private and he's allowed to come out to everyone on his own time and they drive off into the sunset with Leah preferably already sitting in the backseat because her having to go back and forth every morning is like digging the dagger further into her heart like honestly just sit in the back sit in the back oh and these two will be secretly fucking hi everybody it's me if you've watched up until this point thank you so much my name is noah i don't know i really enjoyed doing a video in this format it's not really something that i've ever done before um but i'm just trying to experiment and see what I'm into and then maybe also in the process discover what you guys are into <laughs> it's amazing it's like we're in a long-term relationship and we're having sex for the first time in terms of like my kind of coming of age movies like this I would highly recommend the way he looks if you haven't seen it yet I also did a review on the movie with no spoilers it's actually not good of a review it's just me saying that the movie's good um so yeah but if you want to check out that review it's gonna be somewhere here if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more feel free to subscribe it's free it's whatever leave this video a like if you liked it if you didn't like it don't leave anything it hurts my feelings <laughs> i'm gonna go back now to my buzzfeed and porn or more accurately my porn and more porn